As for where I see myself, I am uncertain career-wise, but I have a dream, and that dream is to find the woman to make my sweetheart, from honest, true friendship, make her my wife, and from us, have a daughter named Crystal Weston Chandler. I've had a number of dreams where I take care of and tend to the needs of my baby, Crystal. And from all those dreams, I knew they were God's wishes for my future. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be learning all about Crystal Weston Chandler, who is the daughter that Chris Chan had, dream had dreams of, of obtaining, of creating. Yet, unfortunately for Chris Chan, that never happened. Well, today we're learning all about who Crystal would have been, who, what she represented. And, uh, and again, it's not even too late. It's not, or is it? Or is it? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're also going to be looking into the dream itself that Chris Chan had about Crystal. The Crystal Dream, a very important part of Christory. So, before we begin, hit the thumbs up, huh? Thank you. To those of you who do, thank you. All right, let's begin. Let's begin. Around the age of 21, Chris had multiple dreams in which God and Jesus told him to find a sweetheart to build from the ground up. From the ground up. That, uh, I got a video that's publishing tomorrow where we're going to talk about that from the ground up. It's really rather disturbing, but, but, but you won't want to miss that. That's going to be up tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon probably. Yeah, it's disturbing. To have his daughter, Crystal, named after the illustrious metal, according to him. In a custom My Little Pony trading card, Chris depicts Crystal as a pony who traveled back in time to help her father, Chris, find a boyfriend-free girl. That, sound, that sounds creative. That sounds very creative. I like that idea. This is completely ripped off from Sailor Moon. Ah, okay. Damn. And also Baby's premise from the Super Monkey Ball games. Although whether Chris knows about ripping this off as well remains to be seen. Finding a woman who would birth Crystal has been a fairly consistent justification for Chris's love quest. At times he has seemed to be more honest in wanting a girlfriend so he can get laid or prove he's straight. For example, when Julie expressed a desire to have a child possibly with Chris, he was ambivalent and, and seemed more interested in a threesome between Panda, Julie, and himself. Damn. That's right. He mentioned that. He mentioned that he wanted to have that, uh... All right. Okay. Yet with new heartthrob Ivy, his fantasy of making a family was strong, and Chris was upset when Ivy said she didn't like the name Crystal and demanded a say in their daughter's name. Well, the dream was about Crystal, baby mama, so you're going to have to deal with it. The dream was about Crystal. It wasn't about some other girl. <laughs> Likewise, in a dialogue with potential sweetheart, Casey's dad. Those are the phone calls we're reviewing. We're doing part four today. It's getting epic. Chris revealed that he had a prophetic dream about Crystal when he was between the ages of seven and nine. He reiterated this later in the conversation, saying he was definitely in elementary school, when he dreamed about giving birth to a daughter. In the dream, he had an office job. Give birth slipped out, as in Chris would like to gestate a human female infant with an... Wait, oh. Oh, so they're saying that he would actually like to have it himself. Oh, come on. That's not what he meant. You know that's not what he meant. Who wrote this? And somehow deliver her into the world. While it's most likely that Chris just messed up while... While talking due to stress, this could also be a Freudian slip, suggesting that Chris has some gender identity issues. Oh, come on, it was just a mess up in the way he was explaining it. You know that. We all know that. Let's continue. Uh, it's also somewhat possible that he doesn't know that the mother is the only one. No, yes, he knows that. Continuing on. Foolishness here. Foolishness. After Casey, Jackie... Was, in, was next in line in the vessel for which Chris's gift from God was to be bestowed. Crystal was featured in Lego form in the Playing House video. Despite only being in preschool, she's advanced enough to keep a diary and look after her baby brother, Reginald. So he wanted to have a son as well named Reg Reginald? Hmm. Interesting. 
All right. Her name is identical to that of Chris's sister from the comics, leading to some confusion. It is unclear which spelling he was projecting for his future daughter. Although he used Crystal with an A uh, in a Facebook message and the infamous story of my current days. In the comics, he spells his fake sister's name, Crystal. Wait, what's the difference? C-R-Y-S-T-A-L. Consistently. Oh, so okay, so sometimes he spells it C-R-Y-S-T-L-E. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's talk about the dream now. This is this is nice and all, but now let's go ahead and look at the dream. And uh, and I want to know, what, why do you guys think it is that Chris... The name is similar to Chris. Chris and Crystal. It's very similar. So, yeah, it's probably part of the... Wants to have a clone in some ways. And spread his seed and become something that will be carried on after he dies. So, isn't that something that a lot of people want? I have my dreams that God gave to me, and I have to see my crystal Weston Chandler be born. Huh. By far the most significant of Chris's dreams is the one where he saw himself married to an unspecified woman and raising a daughter named Crystal. This represents the genesis of his love quest, or at any rate, his favorite excuse for it, when he's not willing to admit that what he really wants is a replacement mother. Chris claims that his search for a sweetheart is intended to fulfill God's will and produce his prophesied daughter. Huh. So he wants a replacement mother. Is that is is that the case? It sounds like that might be the case in some ways. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of sad when you put it that way. Yeah. You see, I have a dream. I have my dream, and that dream is to give birth to have, to share a daughter with my wife-to-be, and her name would be Crystal. I think Chris is a family man. Chris is a family man, isn't he? That's good. That's good. It's good when someone knows what they want, and they... He just never got that. He never got that. Chris, always one to share too much personal information, during conversations with strangers, sometimes brings up the Crystal dream while introducing himself to people. In one of his Facebook conversations, he sent a new contact the following question. Do you know any 18 to 25 year old single women who might like me? I would appreciate any help I can get in finding the one who would be my sweetheart and help me realize my dream of me fathering a pretty daughter named Crystal Weston Chandler. For some time, the many trolls following Chris operated according to the belief that the dream took place when he was around 21 years old right around the formal beginning of the love quest. During the father call, however, Chris very clearly stated that he had the dream when he was in elementary school between seven and nine years of age. Yes, we heard that yesterday. That's why we're looking in this today, because we heard that yesterday on the review. Uh, well. In that description of the dream, he also noted that he had like an office job in his future life. An embellishment that smacks the Chris attempting, smacks of Chris attempting to impress Casey's father. That's an interesting point as well. I'm in the dream. He's telling him the dream though. The dream was that Chris had an office job, and a wife, a sweetheart, and a little baby named Crystal. Was he really trying to impress Casey's father, or was he just being op honest, open and honest? True and honest, true and honest about his dream. We may never know. This statement, however, predates the father call. In an email sent to Katie Bay near the end of July of 2009, Chris used this dream as an excuse to not get a job. Specifically, he expressed annoyance that he does not know what kind of job he has in the dream, only that he is working in an office building. His daughter is present, and shortly after the dream begins, the building starts to collapse and he needs to run away with Crystal. Chris's dreams about the future daughter are at least partially responsible for his refusal to date black women. Huh. Learn something new every day, huh? In Mailbag 35, he explained, I never saw a black woman being my wife in any of my dreams of me and my white baby daughter. 
All right, that one right there at the end, that, that part kind of threw me for a loop. I wasn't expecting that, but Christian is just full of surprises, isn't he? Christian is full of surprises. Whew. Hey, I'll see you guys a little later with something else. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you liked this. Let me know what you think down in the comments. That's, that's the best part is reading what you guys think of this kind of stuff. I'll see you soon. Service your daddy all night long. Yeah, can you ain't shit lock job, brother truck. Lock job, brother truck. Lock job, brother truck. Come on and catch you some frog job. You ain't can you ain't shit, you ain't can you ain't shit lock job, brother.